Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome to the Patreon. Today we are talking about how to be successful in clinic. Now these are my tips on how to be successful in clinic from personal experience and also talking to other techs and people who have had students before and what they expect from them, what they hate. I'm giving you guys what you should do in clinic, what you should not do. So let's go ahead and get started on how to be successful in clinic. So tip number one is to ask questions. So once you get into the clinic setting, the techs expect for you to be ambitious and to take matters into your own hands. So it's gonna be your job to ask questions. It's gonna be your job to um, ask them, what is this? Why are you swiping this way? Um, if I swipe this way, what's gonna happen? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? It's your job to ask those questions because these are things that you're gonna need to be good at the job. So you wanna get as much knowledge as you can. If you wanna take notes, that's awesome too, but you don't have to if you have good memory and you're someone who can just listen to what they have to say but make sure that you are being um, proactive and asking those questions ask your techs how they got into the field um, ask them if they've ever worked at a different facility do they like OB more do they like this more go in there and ask questions so that you can get a clear idea of what's going on and they also enjoy ambition and they enjoy someone who's gonna take matters into their own hands and just ask questions and just you know <laughs> so number two kind of goes with number one and that is to be involved as much as possible so I know a lot of times I've been that person too when they go to do portables and another tech is staying there sitting and you choose to sit and it doesn't look good so if they're gonna go do portables in OB or the NICU make sure to get up take your stuff but don't take your stuff but get up go with them any opportunity to go into surgery or whatever make sure you're taking those opportunities any opportunity to scan do that anytime your tech moves you should be moving unless they're going to the back bathroom you just want to make sure that you're involved as possible if they're doing procedures such as biopsies get in there ask them how to do the biopsy ask them how to help can you write on the um they have these little things that you um write the patient's date of birth and stuff on a lot of times there's stickers now but back in the day when we first did um, when I first did it back in the day but when I did it we had to write on there the patient's name and stuff so if there's anything that you can do to help with the biopsy or make anything better for the tech go ahead and do that but make sure you're involved as much as possible and make sure you're asking questions. Both of those things show interest and um, techs are really gonna love that. Next is gonna be to refill bottles and fold linen. Yeah, that's what I said. It's very helpful for the techs. A lot of times it'll be downtime when you have nothing to do and what you can do is you can refill the bottles for them, the bottles of gel, and you can also fold the linen and pack it for them. It makes their job a lot easier and it just shows them that you're a team player and if you chose to work there that you would be a great person to work with. Number four would be to just Display good people skills with your patients and with staff. Now I talked about people skills back and how to impress people for your interview and you can check out that video but displaying good people skills what it does is it shows them that you're able to work with the patients and you're also able to get along with staff members when you think about clinic clinic is an interview it's a job interview and you're constantly being looked at by the staff by the other techs by the patients which don't quite matter for a job purposes but it doesn't matter for the staffing and for everybody else and they're just constantly looking at you to see how do they get along with people who work here already how do they get along with the patients that we have how do they get along with anyone how do they get along and are they able to um, refill the linen and fold the um, refill the linen <laughs> refill the bottles and fold the linen and just get along with everybody they're looking for good people skills and for someone who would fit well with their company so make sure that you're showing them that you're a good candidate right off the bat and it's possible that you will be hired at the clinic site which mostly is that's usually how people get jobs I was hired at my clinic site and a lot of people are hired at their clinic site because it is an interview process constantly watching you so last but not least is number five, and that is to avoid using your phone. Avoid using your phone, text frown upon it. If you're on your phone, and they're gonna think that you're not interested and that you don't wanna be there. Um, just avoid using your phone. Of course, you can have your phone for emergencies. Um, if you plan to take some notes with your phone, make sure that's loud and clear. I'm just taking some notes real quick so I don't forget. Make sure to say that so they know that you're not just using your phone. A lot of times there will be downtime as a sonographer because your exams take a while to complete sometimes. Usually you start to get really quick doing your exams but they allot you at least 30 to 45 minutes per exam for the most part depending on your facility so you might have some downtime after an exam and people might be sitting around and don't just hop on your phone and surf the web and surf Instagram and stuff like that sit there don't sit there <laughs> but get up and go ahead and uh, refill those bottles fold the linen ask some questions be involved and try your best not to sit down and not to um, just appear unamused okay try not to do that so avoid using your phone unless it's 
um, necessary or unless it's lunchtime. So those are all of my clinic tips for you guys to be successful in clinic. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.